I don't really subscribe to IGN, but they uh they do have eleven minutes of gameplay for Wuthering Waves, which if we set it to anything above fucking four forty p, we'll be able to watch some gameplay, which I do want to do. I I took a look at it a bit just to see some cool things, um some key notes. I don't want to watch the whole thing because it's like quite lengthy, but I think one thing that I noticed at the very beginning, because again, like I don't I don't really watch any of like the uh this China specific beta stuff. Oh, like, they're closed alpha. I didn't really care to pay attention to a game that's probably not nowhere near launch. But now that it's, like, closer to launch, one thing that I've noticed immediately in this IGN gameplay is, like, when you pick up items, it's, like, instantaneous. And, like, if I spam the pickup button, I can pick up all the items in, like, a fraction of a second, right? So it's, like, boom, pick up. It's a very minute thing, to be quite frank with you, but it's something that I really appreciate, being able to pick up items instantaneously. It's, like, something that I really, really appreciate in games. But we may as well watch this whole thing whilst we wait for Blue Archive to update, right? Um, I don't really care about the dialogue, but they have this cool fucking uh, parkour thing. So it's already like on the launch, they're going to have this grapple hook mechanic. So it's already like immediately better than Genshin, in my opinion, for that regard. That this is on launch. But without comparing, um, very, it looks very um, PGR because... It, the, the, the impact sounds and kind of the general aesthetic. But the running up the walls, dude... Oh, man, they know what they're doing right now. They know what the boring parts are of, like, open world games. And they're kind of, like, um, kind of, like, avoiding them, right? Um, so that's fucking sick. Running up walls is fucking epic. And also, just being able to do it with a grapple hook and then immediately, like, like connect into it is fucking epic. Right? It's just being a, yeah, very good. Uh, but another thing that I saw comment in, uh, in on this video when I looked at the comments <coughs> the other when, when I first watched it was if you notice when the character like runs over an obstacle, uh, they'll they'll literally vault it right. It's not like a it's not like a, they'll have to like hobble over it. They literally vault it, so it's a nice fluid like motion over it. So you don't like end up running into like small rocks that obstruct you like in other games cough genshin cough genshin so that's a fucking epic addition already like it already looks incredible dude it looks incredible picking up items instantly uh roughly from here on i can't remember exactly what happens but i assume it's gonna just go through the motions of, of gameplay stuff breakable things energy drink rain snail just a bunch of bunch of items i guess farmable items pick upable items as for the UI, I'm not even going to comment on it. Unless I can manually touch it and, like, experience the UI, there's no point in trying to comment on the UI. But I guess that was a puzzle there. You hit a few different things to the same pattern, and you uh, get a chest. Which, to be quite frank with you, the I don't think anyone expects the, the open world exploration system to be any different from Genshin. It's just going to be a bunch of running around, puzzles, uh, enemies, maybe. Uh, probably lore items like this, so... I don't think anyone expects anything different. You can sit down. That's lovely. Very lovely. <clears throat> I've noticed that there's no, like, stamina bar when you're, like, just sprinting. Oh, that you can, like, oh, you have a bunch of different gadgets. Hold up. That, is that, that's the gadget menu or something? That's a gadget menu, dude. Uh, release to switch to this tool, grapple cord. Uh, wall runners, wall runners, a, a camera. I'm assuming some sort of scanner, and then maybe like your you a uh, thing that you move blocks with, and this is maybe your jump, massive jump, massive leap. I'm not sure. Okay, I didn't know it was gadgets, but yeah, like you, I think the game already doesn't have stamina. Like if you are uh, like want to just run, I think when you want to do an action, obviously you have stamina. So if you want to jump, glide, sp like start your sprint animation, you have to use a chunk of stamina. But to, to maintain a sprint, you don't have to worry about stamina, which is, like, just a, a very intellectual... Oh, that... That's very jarring. It's, it's sp speedy, and I'd probably enjoy it, but that's very jarring. Another thing for me as an Australian, really quickly I will say this, as an Australian, something that I've already noticed is that there's no, like, ping indicator on the screen right? There's no ping indicator. Now, for those who don't know, in Australia, uh, we don't get games, like, catered to us. Like, Australians have to, like, kind of just, like, uh, accept the fact that you're going to be playing games at a lower capacity, i.e. at higher ping, uh, generally worse connection, 
Uh, but looking at the screen right now, there's no ping display. There's no like, you know, 3ms, 24ms, depending on your region. And so that leads me to believe that unlike Genshin, Wuthering Oath potentially is going to be a, um, a, local, a locally hosted game, but with the possibility of multiplayer. So it is going to be perpetually, I think, online, but it's locally hosted. So you get to have your own ping, which then negates the, the concept of showing your own ping, right? But then obviously you would maybe still have the option of uh, multiplayer, which as an Australian, again, not, not, ever, not a lot of people experience this because, you know, Australian people, not a lot of gamers that play gacha games are Australian, at least I think in the higher percentages. But this is, it's a, something that I really look forward to because playing Genshin and higher pings is not enjoyable. Playing other games at higher pings is not enjoyable. So yeah, that's that. Uh, the only downside I can think of at the moment for the waves is uh, that uh, some farming needed enemies may be too tanky. That all comes down with gear, doesn't it, right? Surely we can accept that that just comes down to the gear, right? At the start of every game, every enemy is going to be tanky to farm. But once you get good characters, or once you get a decent team set up, once you get a nice rotation going, once you get like nice, um, nice gears and weapons and whatnot, I feel like it would become pretty, pretty um, cyclical. But like, let's not beat around the bush. Uh, Wuthering Waves will 100% have the same problem that Genshin has with it's going to be boring to farm the materials. Specifically, it's going to have the same thing of different enemies around the world do uh, drop different materials. So, for example, like in Genshin, how you have the Kairagi that drop the Kairagi things, and you have the Treasure Hunters that drop the Treasure Hunter things. If it ha yeah, presumably, it's going to have the same problem, and obviously, that's just not an enjoyable thing unless you are super into that kind of thing, which not a lot of people are, but... Uh, let's continue with the gameplay because uh, it, I think they're about to enter combat. Level 9. Doesn't say the name of the monster, so that's kind of interesting. Now, I know nothing about the gameplay. I'll be honest. I know there's a lot of transforming. You can, like, choose some different animals, like, five different animals to transform into. Or, like, monsters. But, yeah, I, I know nothing about the gameplay because... I don't play PGR. I don't really play any Kuro games. And I, I didn't watch anything from the Colors Alpha, but that looked pretty fun. That looked pretty fun. I have no idea what happened. Uh, because it's a lot more, um... The, the, the features are a lot more, like, simplistic. Right? That's what I've noticed, is the, the, the general aesthetic is a lot more... Yeah, this is the menu that I saw. This lets you, like, switch between a bunch of different animals and whatnot. Like, you have the Geohide, Saurian, Major. And you can level it up. And, like... You like the, these are like transform like this is a cool mechanic echo equipment rather it's called echo equipment you transform into these things for like a combat advantage obviously there's going to be best in slots and whatnot but it's a, a very very cool mechanic basically Pokemon but we fight as well <coughs> uh, from what I said Wuthering Waves should be compared to Tower of Fantasy gameplay wise oh even then I'd still say Wuthering Waves is a bit more simplistic like if, uh, uh, sorry simplistic visually visually. It, and that that goes into the idea of it's a harder to kind of gauge what's happening, right? When you have a lot of colors on the screen, you can kind of put two and two together and kind of know what's happening. But when you have a lot of simpler effects, like everything's a lot of the same color, a lot of, a lot more things are very kind of defined by knowing how to do it instead of seeing how what like how it's done. Uh, it's harder to like learn just visually, right? Because let's say I was watching Genshin gameplay right now, I'd be able to put two and two together and figure out 100% exactly what he did. But in that whole gameplay loop, I'm like, yeah, did you, I don't know, did you use your ability? I don't know if you used an ultimate, maybe there was an ultimate because of that little camera angle or whatever, but yeah. It's, uh, I think that's, uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to is experiencing the, very good, nice dodging. Like I could kind of gauge that. There's a... That's an ultimate. Obviously an ultimate, I think. Now the keybinds are T, E, Q, and R. T is your gadget. E is your skill, I hope. Q is your ultimate. And R. R might be like... Some, R might be this thing, right? Um, Would R be this thing? Yeah, I think so. I saw R on the right side of the screen there. Yeah, yeah. So your R ability is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hmm. Because here's the thing, if they don't have customizable keybinds, because Genshin doesn't have customizable keybinds, not to the to the extent that I would like it at least. That's fine, I guess. T 
As long as T is not like a combat gadget, because pressing T mid combat is not like fun. I'm like I'm not here to play World of Warcraft where I have to keybind my whole keyboard to the abilities, right? I'm here to play like a not not that at least. But yeah, at least if T is not a part of it, then Q E Q R is fine. E Q R is fine. Uh, there should have you seen a uh, thing from PGR. I'm just I'm just saying as a person who's not pay played PGR and who's only played Genshin. That that's my current like standpoint. It should be noted. I I have not I don't know Kuro Games' history, so I'm just in it's I guess uh um in uh, looking at it pessimistically, optimistically, idealistically. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's my perspective. Is that I just don't play their their games right now or at all. And maybe then maybe Wuthering Waves will get me into it. Maybe that will get me into them as a, a development team. Uh, okay. Well, let me try to see what that said. What, what, what's that ability? Or oh, what's that gadget? Release to switch to this tool. Resonating sound. Okay, we'll see what... Maybe we'll use it. Display emotes. Oh, they kind of just got like little open water emotes. Whoa! Oh, that's gonna be so fun. That's gonna be so fucking fun, dude. People just what's the, what's that Dark Souls one? Please finger bum or some shit. Oh, I can't. What people are just gonna be leaving that? It's it's Dark Souls players coming in, or just even general players coming in, just leaving please finger bum or whatever that the hell the saying is. They're gonna try to somehow leave that. That classic fucking Dark... Oh, is it Bloodborne or Dark Souls? I can't remember what game it's from, but... Or maybe Demon Souls. Oh, that's... This is so cool. And maybe if they had the Bloodstains, that would be even cool, actually. The whole, um... Oh, wow! Oh, so there's multiple ways to smash that wall. Okay, I thought there was only going to be one. Oh, my God. That scenery change, bro. What the fuck? Yo, it's nice, bright, and yellow. You get to the top of the fucking staircase. That's pretty nice. Like, quick scenery changes are, are pretty good. I, I kind of... I kind of like that. You can kind of get to the vibes straight away. Tacit field. Ooh. Okay, so what is this? What is this menu? This is your... Okay, let me, let me do that again. Walking up. You walk up, and then you just... You have to hold down a button, like, press another button. And this is your character, like, creation thing. Or not character creation, sorry. Your character... Your team creation. Okay. I'm gonna bring in the new guy. Oh, they're gonna bring in the new guy. Or maybe not new, but at least... From my, my knowledge, new. And they're gonna start a boss fight. Now, unfortunately, I think I see the game having a bit of performance issues. Hopefully that doesn't happen on the actual launch and or close beta. But there is some stuttering and a, and a, few, a, a fair bit of FPS dropping on the actual... At least IGN's video. Maybe it's just IGN. Okay. We saw this guy's gameplay yesterday. He's pretty cool. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that was the thing. That was like the monster thing. Oh, that's fucking sick. The monster thing kind of expands your gameplay a lot from moment to moment because you have three characters plus five animals, which is epic. Uh, they integrated the enemy encounter like the Souls game vibe, did they? Hmm. Ah. Oh, well, you mean like um. Oh, that was a that was an energy spending boss. I thought that was like a just a random boss that you encounter. Okay, that was an actual thing. Uh, you mean like how you just encounter random enemies in Souls, Souls 1 where they chase you for a bit and then go back? Is that what you mean? Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, map looks pretty... The map doesn't look that great. Like, visually, but I guess that's not like... That's not really a thing to worry about. As long as it's thematic enough. Uh, they have a shock value. Uh, you know, around the corners and shit. I think I know. I'm not. I'm not a massive Souls uh, Souls player though. I think Elden Ring is the only one that I've played. Bro. 
Oh, here we go. Ultimate. Okay, so no, R is your ultimate. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. So, I think R is your ultimate. Because it's on cooldown now. And then Q, because he transformed into the dragon thing earlier. Q is your uh, transformation. And then E is your... Oh, interesting. Like, listen, if you've played an MMO before, or, like, uh, specifically on, on, like, PC, if you played an MMO before, that's going to be fine for you. And combo games, like, that's fine. I think people who aren't used to that, like... Q is... Adding Q and, and X... Wasn't it T before? Maybe they changed keybinds, or maybe it's a different recording. Maybe it's a different person playing. Very cool. Was that a QT or something? It was. That was a QT. You see how the things on the right side are like, um, kind of like pulsing. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wanna. Is there? Can I see the trigger for that? Maybe. So he props his Q. Ah, uh, so it's the 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 motion of popping Q or your ultimate rather, gives you the the QTE. It seems to last forever though. He like man stops attacking everything and then still has it. You kind of jump in and have this effect. Oh, that's so cool, that thing right there. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. And I can't wait to see what people do with it. It's going to be so epic. Most proper for supplies. Very good. Uh, I play PSO2, so 10 plus buttons with different function in a fast-paced game is fine for me. Oh, yeah, no, I'm absolutely fine with... um more buttons as well you know playing mmos in general does that to you but the general audience of this game probably wouldn't be uh, too accustomed to it again picking up items instantly a very favorite thing for me um is this uh is this a friendly camp no i don't think it is there's a that mechanic is still the best Hands down, the best mechanic is just being able to run up walls. That is hands down the best mechanic in the game, and I will not be convinced otherwise. Like, and he goes back to the grappling hook. Whoop, hey, yeah, whoa. Like, come on. Like, come on, dude. Like, I can, I can already feel that there is some optimizations in terms of the movement. I don't know, maybe it's just the player uh, not using the camera, like, better or whatever. Maybe it's like a bit a, a, a bit stuttery here and there, but like, that's fucking pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Um, and then this is another challenge. Okay, so you have a little control, another bug challenge. Oh, this is kind of funky. And I'm assuming you get to make your way back to your own character, and that's kind of like... Oh no, you're gonna end up over there, but then it's probably gonna spawn the chest. Oh, that's got. Oh, you can interact with the water. Very cool. This is funky. I don't think they want to lean to the general crowd. I hope they make their own cult like Souls games. Uh, you know, we can always hope. Uh, to the same size as Souls games? Most likely not. But I like similar style? 100% do want that. Oh, your character teleports there. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. I, I was expecting it like, to spawn at your character because that's kind of like a heavy um, position. Dis dis Heavy position, um, movement, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Disposition? No. Just move your character a long distance away from where you were. Uh-huh. Oh, this is, a uh, Okay. Yeah, okay. That, that was epic. Like, I'll be honest, that is fucking sick. Every, every, like, again, it's IGN, like... They didn't do anything crazy. They didn't, like... I, I would have liked to see at least some of the equipables. You don't, you don't get to see too much of, like, the internal UI. Like, uh, your, your inventory, your, your thing. This is, like, the best you can get. Which, it's, like... It's not terrible. You can see that this one... Oh, it's underneath my, uh, my camera, but... Underneath the camera, there's, like, two swords, like, colliding. Or, rather, two swords um, crossing, and that's probably the weapons one. Then there's the one that we're on right now, which is the Echo. And then there's a few others. And then the character one at the top. But I would have liked to explore these a bit more, eh? Would have liked to explore these. But this is going to be probably 
for the mechanic that everyone likes, dude. Oh. And if you can get like different effects, like at higher levels, because it seems, it seems that one to four is just like stat boosting, but then at five you get a consonant, which could do something else, which may be pretty fun. Um, does he scroll through any here, or does he just like keep on the wolf? I want, I want to see him scroll through some of them because, um. This is the only time he goes into the UI. No, here you go. Yeah. Um, what else is there? I think he goes into a bit of the UI here. Uh, yeah, Yang Yang level fifteen out of twenty aerodynamic. You have the you have the six star bullshit. The I'm, I'm assuming the six stars is gonna do the whole constellation crap, or maybe not. Wait a minute. I don't actually know how they're doing their gacha. Like, I personally don't know. Maybe someone knows in chat or in when this ever gets uploaded as a video. How, how does the star rating work? Is it like character duplication in Genshin where you have to get a duplicate of a character to get an upgrade? Or is it like you have to get enough fragments of a character to star them up? Or maybe it's just this is just a, a completely different thing. Maybe this is just level shit. Maybe this is just level stuff. Maybe that's just do with level. <clears throat> Am I late? I don't know, I'm not sure what for what novice gamer, but uh, let's say no. But welcome to the stream, man. Um, regardless about the stars, you get stars and shit. You can level the character up. Standard stats. The stats don't look too in depth. I, I want to see. Okay. okay. So elite class. This thing is elite class. And they're of different types. Okay. Yeah, this game is going to be fun. Oh yeah, we are definitely playing this. I just hope it doesn't launch anytime soon. <laughs> just for my own sanity of playing video games. I've got a lot of uh, games that I want to play.